Today, we look at how to generate random numbers. For that, we look at two different ways to do it. The first way to generate random numbers is with fmath rand range. As you can imagine, based on the name, you can provide a range for the random number generation. First, you have to pass in the minimum and then the maximum of that range. And then this method will generate random numbers that are greater or equal to the minimum value and less or equal to the maximum value. Now let's say we generate a sequence of three random numbers between 1 and 1000. Then we can see that it works as expected and we indeed get a sequence of three numbers which are between 1 and 1000. However, if we now restart the game and compare the second execution to the first one, we can see that the generated sequence is different. And if we repeat the process, you see that this behavior persists. So, using fmath rent range is not really controllable. And therefore, if you call it across different executions of your game, it will not return consistent values. The problem comes from the fact that for random number generation, you have to provide a seed value that then influences the generation process. However, for fmath rent range, we cannot pass a seed value to the method itself and therefore it gets determined internally. And this therefore leaves us with no reliable control over the sequence of numbers that will be generated. However, in some cases you want this kind of control of the randomness. For example, in many roguelikes you can provide a seed value before starting a new run that then ensures that the levels, items and so on are the same for everyone that uses the same seed. And for that purpose we can use fRandomStream. When creating a fRandomStream object we can pass a seed value to it. Let's say 42. And then we have an object of fRandomStream, which also offers a rent range method. This conceptually works the same way as fmath rent range. So it takes also the minimum and maximum for the range for your random number generation. When we now replace our previous setup of fmath rent range and execute the game multiple times, you can see that the sequence of numbers is identical across the executions. Therefore, if you want a consistent random number generation that can be replicated across different playthroughs of your game, you should use fRandomStream. However, if in some instances you don't want to have this kind of control or don't want to expose the control to the player, you can use fmath rent range. Like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.